Hi uh, everyone, uh, this is uh, Jerry and I wanted to do a quick video on how I um, let timing solution software determine a uh, projection for the following week of trading using one hour data on the Euro USD. Um, so we're using the uh, cycle spectrum model uh, primarily and then I'm going to add in a moon model just as a secondary um, backup. Um, I have a uh, timing solution opened here. Uh, the uh, late April update uh, is installed. I think it's April 29th. And uh, Sergey was kind enough to add a Q Spectrum uh, button up here on the Spectrum model. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll click the Q Spectrum right here. And let me resize the window so you can see it. And this Q Spectrum. Uh, just mathematically um, crunches the numbers to find optimal cycles um, in the data that it's looking through, which is one hour data in my case going back to November 2015. So I'm just going to hit calculate button right here. And as you can see, it's, it's working away. Uh, putting in the prominent cycles, here's a 2000 bar cycle that popped up. And I'm going to keep an eye on the amplitude of these sinus waves. And um, that means that it's a stronger, more prevalent cycle. Uh, here's a nice pop at 1000, which is the one that's been giving me excellent results recently. So I'm probably going to go with that one. Um, uh, using shorter cycles, let's say down below 100 bars, um, would give you shorter term um, projections to use for intraday trading um, and I haven't yet played with that so um, I'll give this a second to run. I'll pause the, the video here. Okay um, so as you can see um, here are the, all the prominent peaks and there are multiple cycles and cycles within cycles which is the way uh, really uh, the law of vibration uh, works. Um, and uh, there's a nice prominent one here at um, looks like 14 um, with a third harmonic that's coming in at 43 um, and that's pretty interesting um, looking at a, the 43 and we've got a third harmonic coming at 128 or 9 uh, bars um, and if I keep moving down the line here um, that's looking pretty good too. 126 bars, 251, and so on. But um, I'm going to keep my sinus line uh, very simple by using this peak over here. And as I click on that, um, notice what happened here is it it added a um, a curve. I'm going to just make that a little bit bigger and minimize this screen. Um, I say OK to that. Um, minimize the screen here and pop that up into the. Um, so, this was the curve posted for uh, during last week um, before the market opened. And this is the actual price action that happened during the week. It's pretty uncanny, actually. So, as we scroll forward, here's the action for next week. Um, so here we have continued weakness as the market opens um, and on May 10th for the New York Open we have a reversal heading upward and um, on the 12th of May at the end of the New York session about 1, 2 in the afternoon uh, we have a fall off right through the end of the market. Uh, so this would be Thursday at market close till the end of the market on Friday. Um, Something I've also done is add in the Q lines for the moon. So to do that, I'm going to turn on the, this is the annual cycle here, but I'm going to turn that off and click, click uh, moon Q strategy and uh, calculate here, right there, and optimize it right here. And it found two models 
uh, one that gave a consistent 84.2% up and a 78% down uh, for all times that it was uh, there. So let me move this out of the way and see if that showed up this week. Um, yeah, it's this red line here. Um, so I don't know if it's a video card or the program, but notice that the red line is showing up here. And if I scroll over, it disappeared. But if I, I zoom out or take a different point of view, it may come back here. Okay, here's that consistent down Q model for next week. So uh, what I tend to do to interpret that is to say uh, when the this moon Q and the cycles Q align and the both going down, that it's a stronger down movement than when they're out of phase. So my interpretation is that we'll have strong down movement until um, May 10th um, uh, New York Open and then an upward movement but not convincing one necessarily. Uh, time will tell. And then um, once again Thursday afternoon we're going to um, reverse this way. It looks like 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday. 4 o'clock, something like that, late in the day, till Friday close. Uh, let me just make this bigger. Oops, wrong way. So that's basically it. Um, it's that simple. I'll take a screenshot and post it in the forum and see how it plays out for next Friday. Um, take care and see you on the forum.